Hello and welcome back. This is part four of a, I don't know, maybe five part series on getting faster. If you have not seen the first three parts of this series, I'll put the links in the description below. If you have not set a goal, and if you have not communicated with me your five action steps for getting to that goal, then make sure you do that first before you watch these videos. Last time I talked about hill repeats. Today, I want to talk about strength training. So I've really been talking about run workouts, but these principles can be applied to um, running or biking. Now, obviously you can't swim up or downhill, but you can do some, some speed workouts in the pool and strength training, especially right now when we're not able to get into a pool, can be really beneficial. But it's a lot harder for me to try to coach you in the swim without actually seeing you swim. And you know, and it's not just about times, it's more about your form in the pool. Now, I personally believe that it's hard to do a super effective strength program where you're actively working on becoming physically stronger while you are also training for a race, a, you know, triathlon or running race, cycling race, swimming race, because the two things that you're trying to do, get stronger, get faster, can kind of compete against each other a little bit. For that reason, the best time to do a serious strength training program is usually during an off season, after you've already had your, your A goal race, after that's already over with, and you have time to really focus on strength training. That said, there are some strength type exercises that you can do while you are also training for a race, and that's what I really wanna talk about today. Now it's important for me to say I am not a personal trainer. I did get a personal training um, certification at one point early on and I quickly decided that that was not for me. I got very wrapped up in, um, you know, very client specific types of things and, um, and it kind of drove me a little crazy because I like to make sure when I am giving a strength exercise that the person that I'm giving it to does that exercise correctly and with proper form to avoid any type of injury. It is extremely important that you know exactly how to do a specific workout. Now, this is not a knock against you as kids, but it's just the truth. Kids have, um, a lower ability to really know where their body is in space and kids just haven't developed that fully yet because of that if i tell you to put your arm at a 90 degree angle and and i think well you can look at that and you can see that this is 90 degrees a child might put their arm like this and go well yeah it's 90 degrees i see it's 90 degrees it's not because they don't know what 90 degrees is it's just they don't really know where their limbs you don't really know where your limbs are in space it's important for you to have someone watch you do the exercise and um, and that person needs to be able to know what that exercise should look like. So for that reason, I wanna be really vague when I talk about strength training. It's not my um, scope of practice. There's too big of a risk for injury if you do the exercise poorly. That said, some really excellent strength type exercises that you can do to become faster, particularly in the run and um, the bike are squats, lunges, V-ups, push-ups, tri-dips, glute bridges, planks, speed skaters, and frog hops. If you're already doing body weight type strength exercises and you feel like that's not giving you enough of a workout, then you can do those exercises on an unstable platform. In other words, do them on a BOSU ball or use an exercise ball to, to make that 
platform a little bit unstable. I do not recommend kids under the age of about 14 to do exercises that involve any type of weights because again, it's too big of a risk of injury, um, especially without a trainer who is right there who can correct any type of um, form deficiency. Really excellent workout routine to do is called the Myrtle routine. I will put the link in the description below. It's a fantastic um, routine that you can pretty much do every other day, really. Um, you want to be careful about the number of reps and, and you maybe want to work up to doing all of the exercises in that particular routine. Once you feel like you've mastered that routine and you're doing eight to 10 reps, two to three sets, then you can add in doing that on an unstable surface. Now, I say eight to 10 reps for two to three sets, that would be as its own workout. I would not recommend doing that before or after a run as he mentions in his um, description. The main key, if you don't know what's going to overload your body, is to start out with less work than what you think that you can really handle because you can always add a little bit of work in until you find that sweet spot of challenge. It's more difficult to take work off because you are risking injury if you put too much on at one time. Um, you'll know if you've hit a sweet spot of work because if you do a, a strength workout and you wake up the next morning and you don't even feel like you've worked out, then you probably didn't do enough. If you wake up the next morning and, and you're stiff and sore and you try to go for a run and you're really fatigued and, and you're really not able to hit what you normally hit, then you probably did too much and you need an extra um, day of recovery or you need to add in some recovery techniques like yoga or um, an Epsom salt bath or huh, an ice bath. I never do those because I can't stand them. I would rather not work to my full potential than have to take an ice bath. If you are looking for a personal trainer, then um, I have somebody I can recommend. So next up, and I think that'll probably be the final part to this particular series, I'm going to talk about comparisons. Comparing yourself to yourself from times gone by and comparing yourself to other people who show up to race. Until then, make it a great day. Hello and welcome back. In this series, I have been talking about getting faster. If you haven't seen the first three, uh, one, two, three, yeah, I think three. Okay, let's try again. I do not recommend kids under the age of about maybe 14 to do um, weight. So if you're already doing strength training exercises and you feel like it's just not giving you enough, um, and if you're already, 